In this video, we will solve the end chapter problem number 2.19, which is shown here. Question says, express the following functions as sum of main terms and also as product of main terms. And, and this is the function given. Okay, so this uh, is the question we have to express in main terms and product of max terms. Now, here it is saying that uh, we have four variables A, B, C, D, but you can see here only two variables are given. So, for main terms, they must have four variables, all of them. So, we have to uh, make some arrangement to make them with four variables. And what we do is we know that the x plus x dash is equal to 1. So we multiply 1 with each of them and then that in fact we can multiply by uh, whatever is missing term. So let's see here. So here we have missing a and c. So we multiply a plus a bar which is equal to 1 then we write b dash then c is missing so for c we also write c plus c bar which is again equal to 1 so this completes the first part similarly here b and c missing so we write b plus b bar and c plus c bar and in this you can see a and c missing so a plus a bar and c plus c bar now I have kept it in sequence, that is A, then B, then C, then D. So it will be easier for us to uh, solve this. Okay. And now we multiply. First of all this, we will give this A, B dash and A dash B. Similarly these two and similarly all uh, the other two. And now we will multiply them one by one. Okay, so multiplying this by this, also this by this, and then the second term. So we get four terms for the first one, four terms for the second group, and four terms for the third group. And now we can relate them with numbers. Wherever there is a dash, we put zero. So A is 1, B is 0, C is 1, and D is 1. Similarly here, A is 1, this is dash, B, so 0, C dash, so 0. So this way we write all of them in numbers. And then I hope uh, by now you know how to convert the binary number into decimal. We use these place values. So the first number has 8 value. The, this one will have 2 value and this one will have 1 value. So 8 plus 2, 10 plus 1, 11. So this way we write the decimal values of all of these. So we write the decimal values. And these are the actually main terms. So our answer in terms of a main term will be, now let's find from the serial number for 1, uh, the lowest is 1, so we write 1, and there is no 2 here, but then there is, uh, and there are 2 1s, so we'll just write 1 1, then 3, there are 2 3, but we'll just write 1 3, and then next number is 5, then next is 7, and then next is 9, then 11, then 13, and 15. So this is the sum of main terms. And we have learned that the uh, opposite of this uh, is the sum of max terms. Opposite means uh, whatever is missing from here. So 0 is missing from here, 2 is missing from here. So we'll write the max terms as product of max terms. And 0 missing, so we write 0 here. 2 missing, so we write 2 here. 4 missing, so 4. 6 missing, 8 missing, 10 missing, 12 missing, and 14 missing. So this is now the sum of max terms. Okay, there is another way um, which I feel is a shortcut. 
let's see. Now let's see the shortcut method. This was the function. And just to remind us that this is a four variable, we are writing it here, a, b, c, d, a, b, c, d, a, b, c, d, for all these three. Now just compare the two. You can see that in this a is missing, so we put a dash, and c is missing, so we put a dash for c. And similarly for other, here a and d, so b, c is missing, so we put uh, dashes for that, here a and c missing, so we put dash. And uh, now let's see what, what is b dash represents. It, it means all the values of b is 0. And d does not have a dash. That means d, all values of d uh, are 1. And same with these. So let's write down the values. Okay, so v or dash is represented by 0 and non dash with 1. So this we have done for all three pairs. And now let's see what could be the possibilities here. So from here you can see that A could be 0 and C could be 0 or A could be 0 and C could be 1. Similarly A could be 1 and C could be 0 and A could be 1 and C could be 1. So this is like the two variable options that we have. Same is here 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. And same pattern will follow in filling these uh, two also. So here also 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And here also 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. I'm just talking about the blue colored items. Now our uh, options are complete. So we'll just find their decimal values. Okay, so we write the decimal value. I hope you know the decimal values have weightage like this. Uh, the leftmost in the four digit is eight, then four, then two, then one. So if you look from here, it is just value one. Look from here, it is two plus one, three. Similarly, eight plus one is nine. Eight plus two plus one is 11. And same way we write all the values, decimal values. And this is our answer actually. So the uh, sum of min terms will be 1 even if it is twice or thrice we'll just write it once so 1 we have 3 at 2 places but we'll write it 1 then let's see what is next 5 we have 5 here and uh, here also so we'll write 5 once then we'll write 7 once then we write 9 11 13 and 15 so directly from here we can write the uh, sum of min terms. Now on the product of max terms you know that whatever is not present here they form part of the product of max terms. So product of max terms represented by capital Pi. 0 is not here so we write 0. 2 is not here so we write 2. 4 is not here so we write 4 and similarly all other values up to 15. So this is the answer and you can get it directly. So I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve this type of a problem. Thank you.